Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing today? My name is Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to use any USB microphone with your iPhone or Android device. So we have a bit of a mess down here on my desk because I was testing this with all these mics. But just a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video showing you how to use a USB mic with your smartphone. And this is that video right here. And the way that I showed you guys to do it in that video was by plugging your USB microphone into this. This right here is called an OTG adapter. And you could plug a USB device into it and then the other end has the lightning cable adapter and you could plug that into your iPhone. And there's also a version for Android phones. So I'll go ahead and leave the link to both of those for iPhones and Androids down in the description of this video in case you want to check those out. But the problem with that method is that it will not work with like if you have a blue snowball it won't work with that. If you have a blue Yeti it won't work with that. I didn't test it with this mic. This is a Samsung G-Track Pro but I'm pretty sure it would not work with that microphone and the reason is is because these microphones right here they require too much electricity. However, today I figured out a way to get these microphones to work with the OTG adapter using a USB hub. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. But for anyone who has not seen my last video, basically if you just want to use the OTG adapter without the USB hub and you're not using one of these microphones, the way you get this to work is you need a microphone like this that requires less electricity. And the microphone that I used in my last video was this one right here. It was the Mono. AUAO4 and this is what this microphone looks like. I'll just show you guys real quick Just in case any of you guys don't have a microphone yet um, This is actually a pretty decent um, USB mic and this is it right here It requires much less electricity than like a blue snowball or a blue Yeti And if you want you can just plug this straight into your OTG adapter into your iPhone or your smartphone whatever and that will work fine. But the problem with this is that this microphone doesn't have a headphone jack. And I actually got somebody asking me like, how can you monitor your audio if you have this microphone plugged into your iPhone? And I was like, okay, well, there's another microphone that Mono makes that has a headphone jack and it's this one right over here. It's the AUPM401. And let me show you guys that real quick. It's basically the same exact setup except the microphone itself. If you look at the front, it has a headphone jack right here and then right here it has a mute button. And this microphone doesn't require that much electricity. It's basically the same exact mic as this one, except it just has a headphone jack and a mute button. And this one works perfectly fine just with the OTG adapter plugged into your phone. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for you guys real quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the mic. This is the USB cable right here. I'm gonna plug it into the microphone. And then I'll plug the other end of the cable into the OTG adapter. And then I'll take my iPhone and I'm going to record a video of this so you guys could see it. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my iPhone. Whoops, there we go. So next I'm going to switch over from my camera to my iPhone so you guys could hear the microphone working. I'm also going to plug in a pair of headphones to show you guys that I am able to monitor the audio with headphones plugged into the microphone. All right. I could already hear myself through this microphone. All right, so switch over to this camera on the count of three. One, two, three. All right, guys, so now you are hearing me through this microphone. I'm gonna move it around so you could hear how the audio is changing. I have it quite far away from me now and I'll bring it up really close to my mouth and I'll bring it far away again. And I can hear the audio in my headphones. So as you can see guys, I was able to record the audio with this microphone onto my iPhone. So the microphone was making a bit of noise just because I was handling it a lot and usually you would have this microphone up on the arm stand that it comes with. So just take that into consideration. But let's move on. By the way guys, every single microphone that I'm showing in this video, I've done an individual review for each of those microphones. And I'll go ahead and have the link to each of those microphone reviews down in the description of this video in case you wanna check any of those out. All the microphones that I'm showing you guys today, in my opinion, are pretty Pretty good microphones. All right guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use the OTG adapter with these microphones on your smartphone. And to do this, you're going to need a USB hub. This is the one that I have. It's by this brand called, let me show you guys real quick. So it's called the J5 Create and I bought it from the Best Buy website. 
Um, I have the Best Buy page up right here. It was $30. I'll go ahead and link this down in the description below. You don't have to use this specific one. Like if you already have one, I would recommend just trying that out. But the most important thing is that you need to make sure that you get a USB hub with a um, plug, like a power supply that you can plug into it. You see this um, power supply plugs directly into the USB hub. And that's what you want. You don't want one that's just a USB plug. And just with your phone and the OTG adapter alone, they won't be able to supply enough power to make these microphones work. So that's why you need to make sure you get a USB hub with a power supply. And if you do end up going with this specific USB hub, there's going to be a charging symbol on one of the ports. And that's the port that's going to be getting the most electricity from this plug right here. So that's where you're going to want to plug in your microphone. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys with the blue snowball first, and then I'll test it out on these two microphones as well, just to show you guys that it works. So first I'm gonna take this plug and plug it into a power outlet. Next, I'm going to take the USB cable from the blue snowball, which is right here. And I'm going to plug it into the USB port that has the charging symbol above it. And as you can see, the light on the microphone already turned on. And then the USB cable coming out of the USB hub that you would usually plug into your computer or whatever. I'm going to plug that into the OTG adapter. And then I'm going to plug that into my iPhone. The light on the snowball turned off for a second and then it turned back on after I uh, plugged my iPhone into it. I'm not sure why I did that, but it works and I'll show you guys right now. So just like I did with the last microphone, I'm going to go ahead and switch from my camera to my iPhone so I can show you guys the audio being recorded into my iPhone. All right guys, so now I'm recording the audio with the blue snowball, which I have right here. I'm gonna move it around so you guys could hear how the audio changes as I bring the microphone further from my mouth and as I bring it closer to my mouth, I'll bring it right up to my mouth so I'm talking very quietly into it and yeah. All right guys, now I'm recording using the Blue Yeti. I'm gonna go really close and now I'm gonna go really far away. And now let's go ahead and switch over to the Samsung G-Track Pro. All right guys, now I'm recording using the Samsung G-Track Pro. I'm gonna go really close and now I'm gonna go far away so you can hear how the audio is changing. And yeah, that's about it. All right guys, so that's how you can record any USB microphone into your iPhone or other smartphone. You need to use an OTG adapter and you need this USB hub or a USB hub similar to the one that I have. I'll have this OTG adapter linked down in the description below as well as a link to this USB hub. As for all the microphones that I use today, I'll also have those linked down in the description below in case you wanna check any of those out on Amazon or whatever site that they're sold on. If you would like to see a more in-depth review of each of the microphones that I showed today. I'll go ahead and leave links to all my reviews that I did of all these microphones down in the description below as well. And if you guys like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that you hit that bell notifications button. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.